Hey everybody, welcome to my physical world and another ArcGIS Pro video. I am in the process of updating uh, my Mars application, uh, keeping track of the Perseverance rover. And I'm going to show you how to import a GeoJSON file. G-E-O-J-S-O-N. So, I have downloaded the updated uh, paths and waypoints and position of the Perseverance rover on Mars uh, along with Ingenuity helicopter. And I'm going to add them to my project. So, I have those downloaded. I have them... Uh, I put them into my GIS data folder or whatever like that and I have my my application that has the I have my data that has the uh, Jezero crater uh, digital surface model uh, this is one meter resolution and um, I have already done the rover path okay but I want the waypoints and I want its current position plus the helicopter ingenuity. So in order to import a GeoJSON file, we're going to go to tools and we're going to go to convert to uh, conversion tools. And then we're going to go to JSON to feature. Then you're going to get your list and in the input for the JSON you are simply going to navigate where you have all your GeoJSON files. And I am going to do, let's do the helicopter flight path. So let's select that, click OK. And then I'm just going to, whoops, I'm going to rename that to Ingenuity. path and this is a polyline and then I'm going to hit run and it will add it to our table of contents over here and the colors aren't all that great so we're just simply going to click and change our colors a bit so I'm going to change the color of the rover path to red and I am going to change Ingenuity's flight path to yellow. All right, so here we have the rover's travel and we have Ingenuity helicopter's flight path. All right, now let's add a couple more. So we'll go to tools, conversion JSON, or I could have just went to the menu over here. And we are going to select, uh, let's go ahead and do the waypoints for the rover. And we are going to just get rid of the JSON part here. Hit delete. And these are going to be points. And we're going to run those. So now we have all the data points. Okay. And it gives us the data underneath. So we have which sol that particular waypoint is. It's, it's coordinates. Okay. All right. And now let's go to tools. Let's do this again. Because repetition equals learning, right? So we'll go to the JSON. And we're going to do its current position, the rover position. And we're going to get rid of that. And this is also a point. And we'll run that. And that adds its current position. It should be right here, obviously. Okay. And we can denote that with some other kind of marker if we wanted to. 
So let's come down here, find us a marker. Uh, you know, let's just put a pin on it for now. How about a 3D pin? Let's see if we can find a 3D pin. Let's do a 3D pin right there, just for fun. Oops, better make that bigger, huh? <laughs> oh, what did I do? Ah, forget it for now. I'm trying to show you how to do JSON files. All right, so <laughs> let's um, go to Tools, <coughs> JSON. Now we want Ingenuities. Uh, waypoints and we'll name this ingenuity waypoints ingenuity waypoints that's also points and those should show up on its path yep so you can click on that data and that was Sol 714 flight number 45 and I'm trying to yeah maximum altitude in meters was 12 meters okay or in feet 39 point blah 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 and then the maximum speed meters per second was 6 okay so we have that. Let's add one more, which is its current position. Jason, click. Like I said, repetition means learning. And helicopter position. Click OK. Change our name. And I don't like to generalize its name. Ingenuity position. Something like that, and that's a point. Run, and it should show up at the end right there. So, ingenuity position right there. Awesome. So, and then you can go in and change your symbols to be whatever you want. So, this was just a simple ArcGIS Pro in bringing in a GeoJSON file. For your projects so if your download sites have GeoJSON files only you can actually bring those in and convert those to features in ArcGIS Pro so I hope this helped and I will see you guys in the next video we'll see you later